Scorpios. All right, we will be doing a reading for next week's energy. Sunday, June 4th through Saturday, May 10th. Okay, let's find out. The first part of this reading will be for Scorpios that are single, not in a relationship. And the second part of the reading will be for those in a relationship. This is for sun sign Scorpios. It can also relate to moon sign Scorpio as well as rising sign Scorpio. This is a general reading for single Scorpios. So it looks like we are starting out with transformation, intuition, and patience. This is a beautiful card. These are Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. I really love her cards. What information do we have for single Scorpios? Work, love, and life for next week. All right, it looks like you've done a good job holding on to money, holding on to the things that are valuable for you. We have the four of coins. And it looks like you are setting yourself free. That is always great to hear. The things that bind us tend to be things that come from within, from ourselves. So being able to set yourself free from any situation is awesome. It means that you've taken the power back in your life. So the Knight of Cups reversed. So whatever this situation is that you've set yourself free from, it is a situation you weren't just you just weren't fitting in. And you've used your intuition to see it was time to move on. So it looks like There's been some disharmony with other people here. So I'm seeing, so the lover's card isn't just about finding a romantic significant other, it's also about friends, coworker, somebody you've formed a bond with. Possibly a male fire sign. We do have this male energy coming through from the king of wands. You know, he is a proud and confident individual. Um, the flip side is that he's pe a pessimistic individual. But it looks like this, this fire sign energy, he's a fiery personality. Um, just so there's a lot of that male energy coming through. So let's see if we can find out some more information about this lover's card. Okay, so it looks like, from what I'm seeing here, is although this person was somebody of fin financial stability, this was the person that um, was binding you. And with, with this card, you can see that the chains are loose around their neck. They can leave anytime they want. Well, it looks like you have decided 
that you will be removing yourself from the situation, that you will no longer, no longer be allowing yourself to be weighed down. So I wanted to get some more information about this group that you just weren't fitting in with. You know, um, so the sun energy is about living in the sun, having fun, living for the day, but it looks like that that brought you loss here. So what I'm feeling is that this group was lots of fun to be with. They are probably party animals. Um, and that it's a lot of fun, but then there's a lot of loss that goes with that, you know? It just... Now the Ace of Pentacles reverse can mean loss of money, but with it coming on that that three there it just I think it's you were feeling left out you just weren't fitting in so I'm getting that th this energy here this group revolved revolves around this energy here that king of wands And it's fun to be around, but it's also binding and, and withhold it. It just feels like you're trapped, like you can't ever get away. That the moments are fun, but there's that constant neediness from that person or constant wanting you to, to, to pay your homage to that person. So keep using your intuition, remove yourself from negative situations and you will work out everything okay. So that's an interesting week ahead there. Let's get some information, love advice, romance advice for those single Scorpios. Okay, so again, we I saw loss of money here. This card is about finances and career issues. Financial issues are a factor in your life right now. So I have to wonder if perhaps your boss at work just, you weren't connecting with your boss at work. You were feeling trapped. You were feeling, um, you know, it looks like you had fun there with probably other people, but it just wasn't connecting and you may be moving on whether by your choice or by the choice of that company holder but you will be setting yourself free here you it's not total financial financial loss some interesting changes i would really like to hear what this means to you feel free to email me i would really um like to hear how this is affecting you, the single Scorpios. And apparently the Jaybird outside would like to hear about it as well. All right, we're gonna go ahead and clear the energy of the single Scorpios and work towards finding out what's going on for the Scorpios that are in a relationship. There's your jumper card. Love and light. Your purpose is to bring the
divine healing light and love to the world. Let's see what information we can find out about that. June 4th through May 10th, what energies do Scorpios in a relationship? So you will see me do different card layouts. These are an intuitive guided layout for the energy that's coming through and the energy that I'm being led by my guides. So it looks like we have somebody that's feeling a lot of judgment here and things are have been knocked off the road off moving forward off that path and and now they're out of whack um, okay so there is change coming because of of whatever's going on here uh, with with feeling out of balance, with feeling off kilter, with feeling like things aren't working out, there's definitely going to be change. It looks like you need to watch out here that you don't fall on your own sword. So with the ace of swords reversed here, there, you know, that's a definite potential for things just coming apart and, um, and you, causing damage to yourself. So it does look like you are working towards rele releasing yourself here. The chains have slipped off. You, you have decided to accept that, you know, being knocked off balance doesn't seem like it's been a bad thing. It's allowing you to, um, to make changes, to, re to set yourself free. There's a good chance that um, you've knocked yourself off balance here. You're, you had a life lesson, one of those tough life lessons. <laughs> you basically stabbed yourself in the gut. Now it's time to get up and keep moving on. All right. So the Ace of Pinnacles. So the Ace of Pinnacles is about money out of coming out of the air to you which i wanted more information on so i pulled two additional cards we have the page of swords reversed and the three of cups so the threes always represent groups and um, friendships it looks like hmm with this page being reversed here, it looks like, you know, it's falling in line with the judgment card. There's somebody who just is lashing out. Perhaps they're jealous over something you've received lately, whether you've received money, whether you've received a promotion, or you've received attention and uh, affection from, you know, somebody that perhaps they, your friend was interested in and it just wasn't a fit for them, but it seems to be a fit for you. And um, when I say, you know, you're in a relationship, but this attention could be coming from your boss and, or perhaps you're doing better sales than them. Um, Perhaps you're more successful than your partner, your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, or your work partner. So it looks like you're doing well. Somebody's 
jealous and, and it's definitely someone that's in your, your tight-knit group. So this card was on top and although I always split the cards, um, I was told that I needed to save this card for you. Oh, more change. So definitely there's a lot of change going on. Um, you've been knocked off balance, possibly, you know, stabbed yourself with your own sword. And all this change is making you see it's time to release yourself, time to move on, time to, to refocus, time to refocus on your purpose of bringing love and light to the world. This possibly could be that you are jealous of somebody that you normally um, hang out with or is, is in your group, your tight-knit co-workers or um, PTA moms, whatever. So either you are receiving jealousy or you're giving it. And it looks like it's a little bit of karma here, you know? You've done some damage, you're trying to come back from it, and it looks like you are on the right path. You're definitely on the right path as long as you have positive intent of love and light, you will be able to move forward. All right, let's see if we can get you some relationship advice. So you're being reminded to open your heart here, to give and receive the highest energy of all. I mean, that's pretty awesome here. Open yourself up to that positive love and light. Open yourself up and reverse this damage that's been done here. You can always get back up and brush yourself off, which is what you need to do. There's nothing you can do about what's happened, about this change, whether it's at work, with falling out with your friends, whatever, this change is, it, it does look like you played a part in it. You know, even if you feel as though you're a victim, the fact that you stayed means you played a part in it. So, I'm glad to see that you're finally releasing yourself from that. Just keep moving forward, be positive, be filled with love and light, and have the best intentions for everything. Okay, so now, if you would like me to read your personal energy, please feel free to email me if, um, if you'd like to set up an appointment for that. It looks like you have some interesting things happening, and I would love to help you. Have a great day.